Eagles and the Japanese pair who caused a sensation yesterday, beating the number one seeds. They're up against Rijal and Suzanto of Indonesia. After that, another men's singles and the former world and Olympic champion from Indonesia, Taufik Hidayat, up against the Korean who beat him in the quarterfinal of the Asian Games, Park Sung Wang. Then men's doubles and the world championship silver medalists from last year. In fact, they've been world number ones, Kukian Kiat and Tambu Hyong of Malaysia. The number one, number one seeds here, they're up against the Korean number five seeds. And then the last of our five quarterfinals this afternoon. What a better way to finish. The world number one, the current All England champion, Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia, up against the home favourite, the qualifier, Verma of India. Well, it should be a thrilling day, and the first of our matches is men's singles. Peter Holgera of Denmark up against Takuma Uda of Japan. So the players led onto court by the court officials. There is the reigning European champion, Peter Gaeta. My goodness, what a career he has had. Four times a world championship medalist. Three Olympic Games and he's planning for a fourth. And he's already 34 years of age and still ranked in the top 10 in the world. In fact, he's ranked at number six, so what a player he is. Seems to be able to turn back time. And what a wonderful ambassador for the sport too. Well, today he's playing against his third Japanese opponent here in India. In his first two matches, he disposed of Japanese players, but more of that a little later. First visit to the Indian Open, of course, prior to this year, the Indian Open was a Grand Prix gold event. The status just below the Super Series, of course, the OSIM BWF World Super Series, the highest echelon of tournaments in the world of badminton. So before the players start the warm-up, they will change ends. Of course, the toss of the coin bar Mr. Anang from Indonesia. So the tall Dane, Peter Gaeta, married man with two beautiful daughters, very much a family man. Born in Orborg. 34 years ago. He is the number three seed here at the India Open. As confirming his seeding position and a win-loss record for the year of seven and four. And that translates into reaching one final. That was the Super Series finals for 2010 played in January 2011, lost out in the final to Lee Chong Wei. But let me tell you about that first round match against Yamada. He dropped the first game. He was 10-16 down in the second, 17-20 down in that second game. Saved three match points before coming back to win it. 21-8 in the decider in one minute shy of the hour mark. And then yesterday against Sho Suzaki, another Japanese player. And of course, Sho Suzaki, the left-hander, has been in great form. Last week at the Asian Badminton Championships, he disposed of the world champion. So, tough opposition for Peter Gaeta so far. So to his opponents, and the 23-year-old from Tokyo, world ranking of 55, up seven places, incidentally, from last week, and his highest ever world ranking. And it's going to go up even further after this performance here in Delhi. Win-loss record for the year, still in the positive quarter-finalist at the Australian Grand Prix event. Lost first round last week, so 
at the Asian Badminton Championships. But just look at his first round victory over the number five seed, Simon Santoso of Indonesia. Two straight games and a little more difficulty in the second round against the Hong Kong player, Wong Wen Ki, dropping the second, but coming through in 56 minutes in the decider. So when you look at the overall records between these two men, well, quite obvious that Peter Gaida has achieved so much in his illustrious career, and he's hoping to achieve an awful lot more. There's Mr. Anang of Indonesia. Arampa. So the service judge from India. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Petra Hook Gade, Denmark, and on my left, Takuma Weda, Japan. Takuma Weda to soup, love all play. So Takuma Uda of Japan. There he is, the 23-year-old, getting this corner final underway against the number three seed from Denmark, Peter Hogera. year for the Japanese youngster, won the Russian Grand Prix of eight events, beating uh, Stanislav Pukov in the final. Compare that to the Dane, who's won 36 career titles. Vastly experienced the man from Orborg. The first three rallies of the match. Each player testing the other. And that's a wonderful angle to finish off the rally. Second time that these two players have met each other in international competition. First time was last year in the second round of the Japan Open. That went the full distance. It went to three games. 56 minutes it was before the Dane pulled through. 21-12 in the decider. Oh, that's another one that's in the game once again. Gaida is not convinced by the call. smash from the tall dame narrowing the angle a good smash really invited the straight smash though from the lift across court from Gaida oh, 
singles is very much about trying to outmaneuver your opponent, use all four corners of the court, push them to the back, quite often keeping them to the back for two or three shots in the rally, then bring them forward, make them twist and turn. Well, as the Japanese youngster did there, stretching Gator out to his forehand side, uh, slightly slow to react to the tall Dane. of three points, haven't we? Moved up, getting the first three, then the Dane catching up to three all, and now three points to the Japanese player once again. Gaida, instead of playing his block back tight to the net, just giving a little more push on the shuttle, so it makes it very difficult for his opponent to play a tight spin the net shot. Using all his experience there, narrowed the gap to just one point. And that's landed wide. And back level once again. Fourth in the Sydney Olympics, Peter Gader. Lost his bronze medal playoff match to Charles Ranger of China. His other two Olympic Games is lost the eventual winner. First time into the lead, Peter Gader. Big Liverpool fan is this man from Denmark. He'd have been mightily happy with that 5 0 drubbing of Birmingham City the other day. Backhand side, then forehand, making him twist and turn. And now it's a run of five straight points to the five time European champion. for so long. He first became world number one in 1997. Extraordinary. Managed to remain pretty injury free, although last autumn did have a back injury. Oh, that's a clever smash again. Aim towards the right hip. And this is a run now of seven straight points. And to the mid-game interval with a five-point advantage. Here without a coach, Peter Gaynor. The only other Dane participating in this event was the number two seed in the women's singles, Tina Baum. And she went crashing out 
in the second round yesterday to Singapore player Chen Yuan. Three courts in the action on the quarterfinals day. Just having a quick glance to see what's happening on the adjoining court. Surely Peter Gator is so experienced, he'll have his focus back immediately. Deserved. Shuttle badly deflected by the net court as Peter Gator tried to lift the shuttle to the back of the court. Such was the quality of the spinning net shot. But it was interesting to me the amount that the Dane was trying to pressurize the deep forehand corner of his opponent. Ura absolutely alert to it. Opened his shoulders as he went up for the shot, looking as if he was going to play the power play, and then just angled the shuttle across court at the last moment. Absolutely wonderful. important the net play in men's singles Nine, tight spinning net shot there from Ueda forcing the shorter lift and therefore the opportunity to play the winning smash Point deficit. Now back to within two. Oh, that's a good return. Such disguise. Ah! Yeah, he's pushed it just wide. And the Japanese youngster is beginning to look for those pushes down his forehand side now, pouncing on them very quickly. The first ever Super Series quarter final for Buddha. Oh, that was close. Well, I thought initially it was going to go well wide. Well, I can tell you there's quite a drift in this arena because from where I'm sitting, the air conditioning seems to be on full blast. In fact, I've got a jumper on here in Delhi. Outside temperatures almost up in the 40s. I'm sitting here in a jumper.
fast and furious. And of course, the shuttle in badminton is so light that when the air conditioning is on in a big arena like this, it does create a little bit of a draft or drift. And the shuttle can get caught in that draft and therefore can be pushed long of the court and or out the side, depending on which direction the drift is flowing. to be a tight spinning neck shot. Anything loose, and he knows that Peter Gader would pounce on it. Sheer threat of him encroaching forward onto the net, forcing his opponent. Look, he stands his ground. And that standing of his ground forced Uda into error. Uh, so just a little bit kind of confusion amongst the players as to what the score is. It is 15-12. Oh, it's uh, such a well-constructed rally. That time, the time the spinning net shot was absolutely perfect. Followed in the smash so quickly. Very good play. That's oh, a wonderful angle. Takisala, 16-13. Good elevation. Holds the racket head until the last possible moment, changing the direction. Makes your opponent think you're going to hit straight, and then suddenly you turn that wrist. Oh, yeah, good aggression. 14, 16. defence from Peter Gaynor. Down on his knees 16. at one stage in that rally. Got himself up so quickly. But all credit to Ura because he stuck to his resolve, didn't get distracted by it. And his reward is he's narrowed the margin to just one solitary point. There's a bit of strapping on his tummy muscles there. to play that off balance. And Takuma Ura is back level. Crucial stage of this opening game. 16 all. Sensational. Goodness me. 
left his opponent absolutely stranded. Simple block, and then suddenly turns the shuttle at the net for the cross-court winner. Such great awareness, vision as to where his opponent was, where the gap was. No, but he's missed that one. Oh, that a little uncharacteristic of the experienced Dane. Usually very steady, these crucial rallies at the end of a game. That's a good match shot. Uh, the return of serve, nigh on perfection. 18-17. the short lift and therefore the simple opportunity to play the winning smash oh, that's wild 19 oh, really is a gifted point to the day Opening game. Oh, that's good play. Far more patient in that rally. Pirigera. Good movement deep into his backhand corner. So three game points. Number three seed. Save. What courage from the youngster. 18, 20. Took the half opportunity to come forward in to the net after his power smash. And it really paid dividends. Still gained points for Gator, of course. Good rally, and it's another good save 19, for Uda. 20. Well, two game points saved, and just one more remains for Gaida. the Japanese player saves the third game point well he deserved his luck there racket arm outstretched took the shuttle as early as he possibly could and it's 20 all we will require extra points until there's a clear two-point winning margin
and that's going to go wide. Well, it played such control rallies from those game points down. Maybe just lost his focus there, having thought that hard work was done. Maybe a little sign of inexperience. So in total, fourth game point opportunity now for Gaeta. Oh, but he's missed it. Well, Gaeta appeals to the umpire. 21 out. But there's no overall. And I think that was correct. I thought that was just wide. 21 all. Fast rally from Gaida. Standing his ground, really putting pressure on his opponent. Look how deep Uda's base was. Almost back at that double service line. So deep in court. So now, game point opportunity number five. Terrific rally. The Calm placement of the shuttle from Peter Guerra. Just playing the straight block, making his opponent run the full diagonal of the court. Look, he's come from deep in the forehand corner. Perhaps wrong choice of shot from Ura to play the smash across court. Simple block from Gaida forces the error. And the opening game is his. 23-21 in 24 minutes of play. Well, there is Gaida, just at the side of the court, as I say, no coach for Gaida here in Delhi. I have to say, I'm personally very disappointed there aren't more European players at this event. There's a lovely stadium here, the Siri Fort Sports Complex. Peter Gaeta there, just having a word with the umpire and saying, look, if you want the game to flow, Second then you've game. got to allow me just to go to the side Not of the court and wipe Mate. the perspiration. He said, because if not, I'm going to have to ask you to get the court moppers on. And that will really disrupt the game. Oh, what defence. Absolutely superb. Well, sometimes... Players, when they're a little bit riled or angry, great champions have that ability to make it work in their favour. Certainly the way he played that opening rally, Peter Gaida looks even more fired up than before. Oh, 
just see in the background there. Keita Masuda, the Japanese coach to the men's singles, former top men's singles and men's doubles player himself. Well, what fans have come, are well, certainly enjoying it. Wonderful rally from Takuma Oda. Deep forehand corner, then his backhand side, ready to pounce. Taking the half chance, good courage. there to me. That gave a slightly slower moving forward. Not the same sort of agility we saw from him a few years ago. Time is creeping up on him. Not surprising at the age of 34. changed 16 feathers in the shuttle when it's broken it makes the flight in the shuttle untrue it starts wobbling in the air alters the speed of the shuttle as well oh my goodness Three, oh. he has to keep his discipline as the new stuff in japan of toughness. Stick to the game plan. Japanese teammates here supporting him. Five, three. Had the most incredible year last year to Peter Gader. Played ten tournaments and he reached at least the semi-final in all of them. Absolutely remarkable. In fact, he won two titles, Copenhagen Masters and the European Championships. Reached the final of the Korean Super Series event. Seven semi-finals, including the All England and the World Championships. Certainly no sign that the Dane is losing his hunger for competition. Still loves playing. Long. Well, six. And the points comes to an end. It was five straight points to the day. Yeah, clearly long. Good, good judgment. Slight hesitation there. Seven. Um, 
And that hesitation cost him dear. Perspiration showed absolutely sodden. Look at that lovely change of pace. down Uda's forehand side very next shot is a drop shot towards his backhand lovely there's his out of position that's when you go for the winner as much as anything, I suspect. Oh. Five, nine. Well, the little break did indeed disrupt the flow of Gator's game. Foot sometimes so afraid of those flat fast pushes that Gaeta made earlier in the match that he's backing off from his base position, Nuda. And therefore vulnerable to that little block. So a six point advantage. One more point advantage than he had in the opening game. Yeah, that's great call by the line judge. Seems to a mid game interval. 11-5. Thirty-six minutes duration already, and that's the length of time that Gaida took yesterday to dispose of Sho Sazaki, and that was the entirety of the match. It just shows what good rallies we're having here in this quarter-final one, encounter. Seconds, one, ten seconds. Okay. Eleven, five, right. Long. I was just about to say that's a marvellous kill. But it was just a little bit flat and went along of that back line. Oh, my goodness, that's another very, very good call by the line judge. 13, 6. Smash. 
such a temptation, I think, for opponents Seven, playing against seven, Peter Gator. You, you know and understand the man is 34 years of age, and you think, well, must be slowing down a bit. Let's move him. Let's really test his stamina. But he is still so good at court coverage. Quite often, it's the playing straight at the body that does the damage. But Uda has perhaps realised that. Seven. And on that occasion, making the error. Just wide. Absolutely essential that Uda right now gets a little run of points. Closes this margin if he wants to come back in this quarterfinal. Oh, incredible. Yeah. First of all, the angle from Peter Gaida, and then the quality of the reply from Ura. Absolutely out of this world. Wonderful. doesn't like the call. Oh, he now, I thought that did clip the line. I thought that was once again an excellent call by the line judge. Nine, 15. The, if the cork touches any part of the line it's in. Oh. No, that's wide. No question of that. I'm looking straight down that line. 16, 9. Inspiration to be Nine. wrung out of the shirt. In command of that rally. And now it appears in command of this quarter final. Nine. Just three points needed. Seed to confirm his place in the semi final. from here, 10 points adrift. And he looks to me like a man resigned to defeat. Oh, how wrong was I? Defiant stand Ten, nine, by the 23-year-old. Uh, but his body language 20, after that rally. Takuma Uda, head down, and in contrast, look at Gaga. Little skip on the spot, because he now has 10 match points. Line. No 
magnificent performance from Peter Gera of Denmark, and he's absolutely delighted with that. And rightly so, the number three seed has disposed of his third Japanese opponent here at the Yonex Sunrise India Open for 2011. 43 minutes needed to secure the victory, 23-21, 21-10. Final point. And it was certainly a great experience for Udap playing in his first ever quarter final. But he was outclassed today by the European champion, Peter Gader.